The weight and bulkiness of the objects they lift are frequently cited as major contributing factors to their injuries by workers. Learn how to reduce worker fatigue and injury in the workplace by watching my newest video, The Best Practices and Principles for Material Handling. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the Tech Wonder TV YouTube channel to stay up to date on HSE tips and tricks, as well as other content. Material handling is the function of moving the right material to the right place, at the right time, in the right quantity, for the right cost. The cost of MH estimates at 20 to 25 of the total manufacturing labor cost in the US. In general, Introduction Most injuries in the industry occur while employees move materials. In everyday operations, workers handle, transport, and store materials. They may do so by hand, manually operated equipment, or power operated equipment. This report specifies the materials handling and storage principle to reduce injuries resulting from mishandling or improper storage. Material Handling 1 Objectives 2 Importance of Material Handling System 3 Overview of Material Handling Equipment 4 Principles and Methods of Efficient Material Handling 5 How to Reduce Material Handling Costs Objectives of Material Handling 1. Increase the effective capacity of the warehouse 2. Minimization of island space 3. Reduce the number of times the product is handled 4. Reduction of movement using manual labor 5. Reduction of costs. Importance of material handling. Efficient material handling is important to the manufacturing operation. Material sent by vendors must be unloaded, moved through inspections and production operations to store and finally to the shipping department. Overview of Material Handling Equipment Material handling equipment includes 1. Transport equipment dash industrial trucks, automated guided vehicles, AGVs, monorails, conveyors, cranes, and hoists. 2. Storage systems, bulk storage, rack systems, shelving and bins, drawer storage, automated storage systems. 3. Unitizing equipment, pelletizes, stretch wraps for, identification and tracking systems, barcodes, lot number, manufacturing or production date. Considerations in material handling system design. 1. Material characteristics. Category, measures physical state, solid, liquid, or gas size, volume length, width, height weight, weight per piece, weight per unit volume shape, long and flat, round, square, etc. Condition, hot, cold, wet, etc. Safety risk and risk of damage, explosive, flammable, toxic fragile, etc. Considerations Continuation 2. Flow rate, quantities of material moved, high or low, move distance, short or long. Considerations Continuation 3. Plant Layout Layout Type Fixed A Position Characteristics Large Product Size Low Production Rate Typical MH Equipment Cranes Hoists Industrial Trucks Layout Type Process Characteristics Variation in Product and Processing Low and Medium Production Rates Typical MH Equipment Hand Trucks Forklift Trucks AGVs Layout Type Product Characteristics Limited Product Variety High Production Rate Typical MH Equipment Conveyors for Product Flow Trucks to Deliver Components to Stations Process Flow Receiving Checking Long Term Slash Normal Storage Warehouse 1. Selective Rack 2 VNA Electric Forklift 3 Forklift Hand Stacker 4 Manual Jack Buffer Zone Storage 1. Selective Rack 2, Reach Truck 3, Forklift, Hand Stacker 4, Manual Jack, Surge R, C Storage Bulk Storage Production Buffer Zone, Picking Area FG Storage Shipping. The 10 Principles of Material Handling, The Key to Greater Productivity, Customer Service and Profitability. Material Handling Principles, Practices, 1. Planning Principle. Establish a plan to include basic requirements desirable options, and the consideration of contingencies for all material handling and storage activities. Material Handling Principles 
practices. 2. Unit load principle handle product in as large a unit load as practical. 1. Unit loads take 1 5 the time required for manual loading and unloading. 2. Unitization methods. Material handling principles. Practices. 3. Space utilization principle make effective utilization of all cubic space. Material handling principles. Practices. 4. Ecology. Energy principle include energy consumption of the material handling systems and material handling procedures when making comparisons or preparing economic justifications. X. Diesel forklift versus electrical. 5. Mechanization principle mechanize the handling process where feasible to increase efficiency and economy in the handling of materials. 6. Flexibility principle use methods and equipment which can perform a variety of tasks under a variety of operating conditions. Material handling principles. Practices. 7. Safety principle provide safe material handling equipment and methods which follow existing safety codes and regulations in addition to earlier experiences. Please don't follow this unsafe fact. Material handling principles. Practices. 8. Cost principle compare the economic justification of alternate solutions and equipment and methods on the basis of economic effectiveness as measured by expense per unit handled. 1. Cost of owning and maintaining the equipment, examples, space, racking system, lift, generator, stacker, hand pallet truck, forklift, transport vehicle, generator. 2. Cost of operating the system, examples, warehouse rental, electricity bill, ERP system, insurance, and manpower wages, material handling principles, practices. 9. Maintenance principle prepare a plan for preventive maintenance and scheduled repairs on all material handling equipment. 10. Obsolescence principle prepare a long-range and economically sound policy for the replacement of obsolete equipment and methods. How to reduce material handling costs. The proper material must be placed where, when, and how it is needed in order to save material handling expenses for any firm. Reduced staff handling of the cargo. Shorter transit times. Lower equipment expenses. Avoidance of damage. And increased storage space can all help cut down on these costs. In the end, reducing material handling expenses boosts output and enhances a business's profits. How to reduce material handling costs. 1. Cut back on touch work reducing the number of times. A worker must handle material is the best method to boost productivity and profits. The production adds value material handling doesn't. Productivity is lost for every minute spent moving, sorting, arranging, or storing materials. By providing as many materials as possible directly to the manufacturing floor, material handling can be significantly decreased. Vendor managed inventory, for instance, can do away with the requirement for material receiving inspection, sorting, and storage. How to reduce material handling costs. 2. Optimize material flow. It's crucial for the path that materials take through production to be as brief as feasible. Transporting materials to and from various assembly floor processes takes up time that could be spent producing. Establish a direct path for materials to follow, with little to no backtracking, from inventory receipt through kitting, assembly, test, and shipping. This can substantially shorten the manufacturing process and boost profits. How to reduce material handling costs. 3. Prevent damaged material damage equates to lost revenue. Products can be kept usable by following proper storage techniques, which include keeping an eye on the shelf life, temperature, and moisture levels. Constant employee training, the provision of adequate tools and equipment for handling and the documentation of proper handling methods to prevent breakage all contribute to minimizing damage. Summary 1. Eliminate unnecessary handling 2. Minimize manual handling Use mechanical handling equipment where possible 3. Use the right equipment for handling so as to avoid damage Reduce the cost 4. Handle materials in the largest convenient unit load by the quickest means over the shortest route 5. Make full use of the equipment. Suggestion to minimize handling of material. 1. Work with the supplier to deliver material in standard size containers suitable for unloading, 
Storing issuing. 2. Work with suppliers to dispatch the goods on skids or pallets in a standard unit of issue. 3. Storing handling may be combined by using shelf trolleys or pallet box. 4. Use an electronic programmable weighing balance to measure the quantity of standard size items such as raw materials, flavors, etc. 5. Hardware items like blanks, sachet, etc. can be obtained in cartons of standard quantities. Thank you. What you treasure, must handle with care. Appendix Material handling cost, two sources 1, cost of owning and maintaining equipment, space installation cost, 2, cost of operating system, maintenance cost, power requirements, insurance, why reduce cost, they do not add value to materials or products. How to reduce cost? 1. Eliminate material handling activity whenever possible. 2. Mechanizing. Use conveyors or power driven trucks if handling cannot be eliminated. 3. Making necessary handling more efficient. 4. Keep a record of material handling activity and monitor for expenses.